Welcome to Salad with a Side of Fries. I'm your host, Jen Trepic, talking wellness and weight loss for real life. We're here to clear up the myths, misinformation, bad science, and marketing to teach you how to eat and how to cheat. Are you ready? I'm having salad with a side of fries. Guys, this week we're talking ingredients. So not the ingredients of when you make things for yourself, but reading the ingredients on the label of a packaged food. So first, let's just start with the directive. Read the ingredients on the label. Often we ignore this part, but it can be super insightful. So when we're reading the ingredients, know that they're supposed to be listed in the order of highest quantity to lowest quantity. And it's actually calculated as volume by dry weight. But basically what this means is that we want to pay the most attention to the first few ingredients as they make up a majority of the food. Okay, so when we look at the ingredients at the first three to five ingredients to give us some insight as to what type of fuel this packaged food is going to give us, is it offering protein, fiber, quality fat, vitamins, and minerals, right? As a rule of thumb, we want to make sure sweeteners are not listed in the first five ingredients at least. Sweeteners generally use words like syrup, sugar, juice, sweetener. (laughs) Some hidden words for sugar are turbinado, malt syrup, brown rice syrup, sorghum syrup, barley malt, molasses, cane sugar, fruit juice concentrate, right? Just to give you some examples. Remember that sugar alcohols, which don't impact our blood sugar, right? Remember, we remove them when calculating our net carbs. Those typically are listed in the ingredients and have words that end in T-O-L, like maltitol, xylitol, sorbitol, right? Those are somewhat less concerning just for the fact that they're not increasing our blood sugar, but as we know, they can certainly keep us addicted to that sweet flavor, right? To identify trans fats, we want to avoid completely right? And we're looking for words like modified, fractionated, hydrogenated, or hydrolyzed, and it'll be paired with a vegetable oil, okay? When we're looking at grains like wheat, oat, barley, rye, we want those ingredients to be paired with the word whole. Avoid words like cracked, extruded, ground, flour, (laughs) right? Remember, those are all processes that the grain has gone through, which changes its molecular structure and therefore changes how it impacts our bodies. So before we go, we've talked about ingredients, but remember, it's just one of a handful of key factors that we're going to look at on the label of our foods. And you know, you can check out our other nutrition nuggets. We also have a two-part series in our full episodes about reading labels. So you have all of these resources. And today is just a quick reminder about ingredients. So overall, as a general rule of thumb, choose foods that have as few ingredients as possible, right? Not only does it make it easier, but it's better for our bodies. You've heard this before, but I'll say it anyway. Be cautious of ingredients you can't pronounce, And of course, use the tips in this nutrition nugget to help you even further if that's the next step on your journey, given where you are in your personal process. So there you go, friends, your cheat sheet on reading the ingredients list of packaged foods. Jessica, one more time, thank you again for being here. Always love connecting with others, you know, paying it forward from their personal journey. So thank you again. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. And as always, guys, I'm your host, Jen Trepic. Connect with me on Instagram at Jen Trepic, J-E-N-N-T-R-E-P-E-C-K. Our Facebook page is at the same handle, and we want to hear from you. So submit your questions, your ideas, your takeaway videos, even DM me on social media. It's an easy way to find out more about working with me directly or addressing your personal concerns. Of course, if you're not already a member, go to glow.fm slash salad with a side of fries to get this week's recipe for spicy chicken cups. And be sure to mark your calendars for this week's exclusive live session. Everybody, for this week, practice your emotional fitness, right? Ask yourself these questions so that you can untangle the physical and emotional hunger, right? I can't wait to hear what insights you will have. And we will see you next Wednesday. 
Well, friends, that's it for today's episode of Salad with a Side of Fries. Congratulations for making yourself and your health a priority. Thanks so much for joining us. Be sure to click subscribe or follow on your favorite podcast platform, share us with a friend, and we'll be back next week. Always remember, you deserve it and you are worth it. Happy healthy.